The threats and challenges of today's ISR uh, in the ISR arena is, is getting more complex by the day, both in terms of the traditional threats, but also the uh, more and more common asymmetric threat situations, such as we see them in, for example, the Middle East and, and in some regions in Africa. Uh, the need for a consolidated ISR picture on a national level is getting more and more important for several countries around the world. Uh, in Saab, we have a, a broad portfolio when it comes to ISR capabilities, ranging from the high-end strategic assets such as the Swordfish MPA, all the way, all the way down to smaller tactical systems uh, still providing high-end ISR capabilities. The Swordfish MPA is, as I said, a strategic asset and it has great ability to deliver in many ISR mission types. Um, for example, uh, anti-submarine warfare, uh, anti-surface unit warfare capabilities and long-range search and rescue, uh, just to mention a few. So will provide the mission management system, the C4I mission management system, which we regard to be the brain or the nerve center in the mission system. Uh, it should be noted that Saab has great in-house capabilities when it comes to sensor technologies such as electronic support measures, electronic intelligence, communication intelligence and image intelligence and tactical data links. The system is modularized and we've worked really hard in, in standardized interfaces towards the C4I mission management system just to cater for, for an ease of integration of third-party work class third-party sensors. Um, and Saab is constantly trying to break the thought, thought barriers. Uh, and in our context, in the Airborne ISR context, it's about the cleverness built into the mission management system. Uh, our mission management system features a track data fusion engine uh, alongside with functions to filter, categorize, and provide decision support to the operators. Uh, all of which are aiming to ease up on the situation for the operators, uh, thus achieving more with less. Saab is happy to provide our mission capability on any suitable platform, including the Saab 340 and the Saab 2000, both of which can be uh, modified and have flight characteristics that are highly, highly suitable for these kind of mission profiles. Uh, besides, it's also a fact that since Saab is responsible for the integration onto the platform as well as into the mission management system, the customers only have to turn to one provider when it comes to modifications and upgrades over time. Uh, Saab can also provide a capability growth path over time, introducing new capabilities and improving performance uh, in order to sustain the system's competitiveness uh, over the course of time. Uh, Saab also has a flexible outlook on, on nations' uh, exclusive ambitions with regards to transfer of te technology. So uh, since we own the cleverness in this system, we can also decide when to share this technology. So, all in all, I would say that Saab is the ideal partner for any nation looking to improve their ISR capabilities.